But it was unlike his creation. The, the glorious, the magnificent. Now, you know we pray five times a day, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know how we pray, don't you? Yeah. We bow before God first, yeah, submit. then we kneel in prostration. Yeah. One, is the, one is submission, that's the testification, but it's also the practice, praying, doing the bowing and prostrating. But that's also how the prophets prayed in the Old Testament as well. That's how the prophets in Sakla and Muslims pray. They bow to God and they kneel in prostration. It's unfortunate in Christian history, people were educated on this. So if you want to accept Islam, simply you testify there's only one God. And God sends messengers, Abraham, Moses, Jesus. The final prophet is the prophet Muhammad, upon whom be peace. God's final messenger to mankind, bringing them back to worshipping God alone. Getting the concept of God correct first. God is not a man. It's not His majesty that He's a man. If you believe that, why Islam makes the most sense? It's got, the, it's got that very concept. Did you know, all the other world religions, they make their major protagonist in some capacity akin to God, meaning like Jesus. A man that made God, and the man himself made no such thing. Islam is pure. It's a bringing you back to the central belief of Adam. What we say, Islam was not a religion which suddenly appeared 1400 years ago, but it's since Adam, who was the who was the um, vicegerent of God on the earth, one who spoke of the one true God, and that has been the consistent message of all the prophets for history from Abraham to Moses through to Jesus, the Quran, the final revelation, the only revelation which makes a claim that it is a final revelation, a completion of God's law to mankind. And hence, if you accept that, if you believe there's only one true God who is unlike his creation, if you accept that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is God's final messenger and servant, that's all he is, no more, no less, just like the message that preceded him. That makes you a Muslim. Are you ready to accept that? Um, yeah. Is there literature that I can read? Yes, there's plenty of literature. But what I want you to understand first of all, do you have m many Muslim friends? You have a few? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, do hang around with people who are going to be good examples for you. Not Muslims often can be a little bit, you know, off, off the mark. Yeah. yeah off the, but not to say that, I mean, they don't have the belief. But what I would invite you to is accept Islam today. Worship this one God. You'll be joining a huge band of people who are becoming Muslims. On our little table here, we've got an Englishman there, a convert to Islam with a long ginger beard just over there. We've got a West Indian brother over here, a convert to Islam as well. We've got people of all different ethnicities accepting the religion. I would invite you to accept. Do you believe, first of all, there's only one God? Do you believe God is not a man? Do you believe God sends messages? The final messenger, what we say, is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who invited people to worship in God alone. The same message of Jesus, Moses, Abraham. If you believe that, take the testification today, become a Muslim, and we will offer you lots of support as well about learning, about ways to do certain things, getting all different types of help. If you want to take that step, let's do so now. It's not a compulsion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, not no, a compulsion. No, no, no. no. Wouldn't, wouldn't we're, not, we're not teaching you anything that you... I was in the same position years ago. This is why I think one thing you believe in what you say. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe there's a hellfire? Ah, yeah. Right. What happens? All it is, this declaration... It's just a confessing what you believe. Yeah, we have to do it. Because when you believe that, and you, and you enter the form of this time, all your sins, regardless of their minor or major, if you take the form of this time, they are at the same If in the next few seconds, or tomorrow, you're up there. I went to, uh, what's it called, Akkad. You are pure than all of us. Yeah, you know, when I came back from Yeshai, he was gone. I looked for you in Yeshai. I already believe in Yeshai. No, I looked for you here. Where were you talking? So when the Sheikh said, I'm going to go. I'm going to have a meeting. And then I went to Yeshai. And then I conveyed a message. Now, if you believe what Allah has said, if anything should happen to you, when you stand in front of your Lord, one of the questions the Lord is going to say, meaning God, did not the message come to you? Because, can I say something? 
you, you cannot say no because the message has come to you. So this, you, you, you go straight to her phone. If the message didn't come to you, then you would have an individual case. So it's not that, oh, you take the Shahada, oh, you're going to be a perfect Muslim. No. You take the Shahada, it's just to confirm in your heart. You can do it one to one, you don't have to do it on camera. And then you go through the door. Now you have to seek the knowledge how to pray at the Zakat. So the first you thing, just sorry. sorry, yeah, that's fine. So just to reiterate the brother's point, I don't want to impose something on you, on you which you do not believe. So you said you believe in one God. That's the first part of the Shahada. The second part is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is God's final messenger. Just like the messengers which came before him, which I made mention to Abraham, Moses. Do you believe that first of all? Yeah. That makes you a Muslim by definition. By definition. By that makes the rest of the stuff. What's your name? So I never took your Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Mustafa. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Ryan. Ryan. So, but the rest of the stuff at your own pace, and we all gonna have you. You'll get you'll get a support network of your brothers here who will actively help you. If you've got questions, they put you into a big group. It, so many things that you may need help as a new Muslim. Would you like to take that step? Can I just talk to you for a second in private? Yeah, yeah, yeah. please no, do. Yeah, Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Go ahead, Ryan. No problem. All right. Alhamdulillah. Let's see what happens, gents. Let's see if there is a response. In the affirmative, inshallah. This is live. If this is happening live, we are seeing a live shahada, a potential live shahada taking place. We've explained everything to him. He accepts all the propositions. However, he wants to speak to the other brother. Let's see what happens, inshallah. And they become. Oh, brother. <laughs> Look, I don't have a son. He didn't want to. Brother, you said the Shahada. Honestly, I've been proud. Honestly, honestly. Yeah, I don't want my daughters to go to him. You okay, my brother, yeah? MashaAllah. Hey, you're part of the Ummah now, man. You're part of that, you know, the boxing brother, Javan to Tank, you know? Yeah. He just became Muslim. Oh, another did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's another, um, um, was it another the light middleweight champion yeah, as well. Yeah, Miro, that's a few weeks Miro, ago. Jaram Miro. Jaram Miro. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. The other guy, the father yeah, that, and the son. That's right. They both the father become... and the son, the boxers, professional boxers. They've become Muslim, bro. Oh, yeah. but that's not important. That's the thing. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? You will have Muslims that will think they have he did the shahada. Good, and they're going to come to yeah, he did it. But he wanted to do it quietly, personally. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Even even today, as other brothers, there's fight. Really? Uh, Bethel Green. Bethel Green. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Uh, no, you are. <laughs> you know the old chess hospital? Yes. By Ray 